Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you some more options that we've added within our transform operations in Solid Camp 2009. If we take a look at the part on the screen, what I've done here at this point is I've created one pocket milling for this slot only. And what I'd like to do is create a translate operation for these slots over here and then take this entire translated area and rotate it to these slots over here. So we'll start off by right clicking on this operation and going directly to transform. Now in transform I'll first choose the option of translate and I'll use matrix. Now I'm gonna have two rows and I'm going to have five columns as shown over here. Now my X step in this part itself will be every 10 millimeters and in the Y step I'll go every 20 millimeters and accept that. Now if we take a look what I've done up until this point you'll see and I'll put this in my top view that I've done exactly what I wanted to do. I've had two rows with a translate on each one of those giving me an operation for each one of these slots but now I'd like to continue and do that rotated around the part itself so I'll go back into my transform option and continue on now simply say rotate and use the list option now in my list I'll simply put in 72 degrees and I'll multiply that by 5 including my original and say add. You can see all of these are now inside my list and simply accept that. Now when I say OK and we'll show our two path again, not only do we have the translate now on the parts but we have it rotated as well and all this is within one operation. Thank you for joining us on Solid Camp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.